fire has broken out in Washoe Valley just hours ago. Advisory evacuations now in place. We have Kai Sisson live at the scene with more on what progress firefighters are making. And there's a red flag warning and high wind warning in effect right now, making conditions even more difficult for firefighters. There's some out still fighting fires in Carson City. Meteorologist Angela Schilling joins us at the Weather Center with the latest on a series of storms moving into town. Yeah, and there's one West Shore Tahoe, too. Uh, Nevada Assembly was called back to session late last night for the bill to fund the new Las Vegas football stadium. Did they finally come to a vote? We have the latest. A lot of questions to be answered here this half hour. It's your news right now at 530. It is Friday. It's mid-October already. Good morning. 14th. I'm John Potter. I'm Andy Guevara and we do have a lot of uh, breaking news and information we want to share with you this morning. Firewatch is what's topping our newscast today. That's right. A brush fire has broken out in Washoe Valley. This is the latest one. Crews uh, say it may be up to uh, 50 acres in size. Kais is in live uh, near Franktown and Much. Bellevue, that area. Let's turn to you now. Much more than 50 acres now, John. We just received word from fire officials that an evacuation center has been set up at DePoli Middle School in South Reno for the residents of Washoe Valley. Take a look behind me. I'm not kidding. In the last hour, hour and a half, this fire has doubled, maybe even tripled in size as it moves east down the mountain, making for very treacherous terrain for firefighters. Right now, we're seeing wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour making this blaze out of control. Again, fire officials are going up and down. Uh, we're on Bellevue Road now. They've been honking their horns, going door to door. Uh, everyone north of Franktown Road in Washoe Valley warning residents to evacuate. Uh, it is voluntary evacuations, but they have set up the evacuation center again to Poli Middle School in South Reno. Now the hardest part for this, uh, for the firefighters out here today, 70 mile per hour gusts and a lot of uh, treacherous terrain up this mountain here, John and Andy. Now here on Bellevue Road, they've set up in a or they've set up a staging area here, and every agency is on scene. Reno Fire, Sparks Fire, Carson City, Story County. We've seen them all, warning residents to evacuate if they can. And again, Depoli Middle School is where they're setting up as of right now. No word on how many uh, acres this fire is, but we're going to be here all morning as fire crews knock down this blaze in Washoe Valley. We're covering Firewatch for you live this morning. Kai Sisson, Channel 2 News. All right, you can hear the wind right there. Thank you, Kai. That's a, a darn shame. Beautiful area there. Nice homes. Want to let you know about another fire burning at South Lake Tahoe near Cascade Creek. We're in West Shore um, near Homewood. We're learning uh, South Shore, rather. There are some residents there without power. There are mandatory evacuations for residents near Cascade Lake. Uh, there's no estimate on the size of the fire or when containment will be reached, but the rain there should help uh, fire crews and we'll update you more. I hope it's good news with more information soon as it becomes available. You know, the high winds continue to be a concern for firefighters also in Carson City. They're battling a wildfire that broke out last night. This one is the Clear Creek Fire just south of the Stewart Indian Colony near the base of Clear Creek east of US 395. That's the area there. Crews say while there was a threat to homes when the fire sparked, they have mostly knocked down the blaze. It was intense. No structures damaged and thankfully no injuries reported. Firefighters remaining there through the morning to keep a close eye on the embers sparking up. You saw how far those embers were going. So obviously that's a danger. It could reseed the fire at another point, uh, but we're trying to keep a, a pretty close eye on that. Well, mandatory evacuations were in effect in that area through midnight last night for the Stewart Indian Colony and the Clear Creek Trailer Park on Clear Creek Avenue. Fire officials tell us they will provide an update later today, that later this morning on that fire, and let us know if those evacuations are lifted. Boy, been doing this uh, show mornings for a long time. I cannot recall a time when we had three active wildfires at a time when the winds oh. are just screaming horrendous out there. My yeah. goodness, series of storms, right, Angela, is yeah. what we, we have coming? Yeah, I mean, this is just round one. I mean, this is kind of the precursor to it. We're dealing with a lot of wind. Eventually, the moisture will get here, but right now we just don't have enough, and uh, that's why we do have a red flag warning in place for anyone here shaded in pink. As far as in the Truckee Meadows, including Reno, it goes through 11 a.m. Now, as far as into central Nevada, and including Fallon and Lovelock, it goes through 5 p.m., so it goes through this afternoon. So still plenty of wind to be 
be had not only this morning, but throughout this afternoon. Anyone here shaded in kind of that orange yellow color? That is a high wind warning for Lake Tahoe. It goes through 11 a.m. But as far as under Reno, it goes through uh, 5 p.m. So it's going to stay windy throughout today. And to be honest with you, it's going to stay windy straight through the weekend. Winds will start to calm a little bit overnight, but still going to be breezy, still be uh, strong enough to hear it uh, through the overnight time hours. Now, as far as sustained winds right now, anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour, but gusts are much higher into the 30s and 40s. So plenty of wind to be had. Some areas that are prone to windy conditions like Washoe Valley, uh, we are still seeing a wind gusts over 50. So again, plenty windy out there. Our only saving grace is the fact that we do have rain in the forecast. Rain is always a good thing around here. We are seeing some light rain along Interstate 80, but the heavier rainfall is still back to the northwest and to Redding, and that will start to move its way farther south this afternoon. I think we'll really start to make an appearance in our area around 1 o'clock, and some of it will spill over. Granted, majority of the rainfall will definitely stay up into the Sierra. We're just seeing cloud cover at the moment in Torino, but again, some light rain along Interstate 80. Heavier rain, though, back up to the north and to the west that will really start to arrive by around 1 o'clock. Most of it will stay into the Sierra and snow level will stay high today above uh, 9,000 feet. Temperatures are warm. 63 degrees right now in Reno. 53 in South Lake, 63 in Fallon, 64 in Lovelock. So just about all of us are still in the 60s this morning. So afternoon highs will push 70 degrees today. Cold front moves through around 5 o'clock. Rain uh, will continue through the weekend. Uh, the details coming up here in just a few minutes.